Hello, in this video I'm going to show some 3D printable attachments that I've created for the STS Pi robot, in particular collision avoidance using an ultrasonic distance sensor. The STS robot is an inexpensive robot created by Pimeroni. It's a simple kit which then needs a Raspberry Pi, such as Raspberry Pi 2 or later, and one of the various Explorer hats for the motor control. You also need to provide your own battery as a power supply. The default brackets only work with a limited number of batteries, so I've already created a video showing a battery bracket that I created, which allows different sized USB battery chargers to be used. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a bracket that I've created that allows an ultrasonic distance sensor to be added to the robot. This can be used as a collision avoidance system when controlled manually or as a form of automation allowing a robot to navigate around a course. I've created the bracket so it can be used either in place of the camera or with the existing camera mount stacked on top of the bracket as shown here. The bracket has been designed in FreeCAD shown here. The bracket is quite simple using the same type of connector that the camera mount uses with two holes that match up with the ultrasonic distance measurer. The mounting holes on the distance sensor are very small so I've not tried to create those using a 3D printer. They could be drilled separately if you prefer or you can use some adhesive pads or tape to hold the sensor in place. I've added an additional female bracket on the top which allows the camera mount supplied with the STS Pi to be stacked on top. This does make it quite tall and there's a bit of play in the movement of the two mounts but it works fairly well. Here you can see the different sketch files that have been used to create this model. The main one is this which is based around the dimensions of the camera bracket supplied with the STS Pi. If you zoom in you can see the way that the connector holds in place. Next there's two pockets created for the distance sensor which match the size of the sensor and this is where the extension is put on the top to allow the camera bracket to be mounted in and then the holes are created as pockets as shown there. Before I get into explaining the code of how this works Here's a video of the robot trying to navigate within a ring I created. And here it is with a carousel and a giant box of Jaffa Cakes. What robot doesn't need to navigate around a giant box of Jaffa Cakes? As you can see, it's not completely reliable. If the obstruction is directly in front of the robot then it works quite well, but if the robot approaches at an angle then it may not be able to detect the obstacle until it's actually hit. It does however provide a way to experiment with automation or just add in collision avoidance to say a joystick controller. I've created a separate video which shows how a control pad can be used with Raspberry Pi robot. Here is the Python code which is controlling the STS Pi robot on those demonstrations. It's fairly simple code using the GPIO0 distance sensor. The robot drives forward until the minimum distance is reached. You may want to tune that value depending upon how much space you have. It then turns right for a short period of time and then if the robot is no longer facing obstruction it continues in the forward direction. This is completed in only around 20 lines of code. This does give some scope for future improvement. If you'd like to try this yourself 
All the files, including the CAD files and the source code, is available from my website. See www.penguintutor.com slash robot for more details. The 3D printable STL files are also included on Thingiverse. All the links are included in the video description. I'll finish off by showing you some of the not so successful tests. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel which covers all the different kinds of make activities. I hope to be adding two new robots very soon so look out for those. Also please click the like and share if you found this useful or leave a comment if there is something else you'd like me to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching.